Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, I guess today's a border day. Two out of the three videos I've recorded today are on the southern border. Two different border videos, of course, slightly different topics. However, there is one common denominator, and that common denominator is that people are finally waking up, and we're not just talking about random people, we're talking about important, influential people, thought leaders, that affect how millions think. The video earlier featured Joe Rogan, and this time, we're featuring one of Joe Rogan's friends friends, one of our favorite icons, Elon Musk, who seems to have gotten the message. He seems to actually understand what is really going on here, what the real plan is, what the Democrat plan is, and he's decided to use his influence, his access to hundreds of millions of people on Twitter as the most prominent account on that platform to red pill the masses on the Democrats plan of illegally importing millions of new voters in their effort to establish single party rule Elon Musk exposes the whole friggin thing we got some stuff to get into but this video is actually brought to you guys by a sponsor so let's play that clip first then get into the topic of Elon Musk calling out the Democrats sinister plan this video is brought to you guys by our friends at American Hartford Gold folks were facing uncertain times it's been a real rocky three years Politicians have a spending problem, printing endless trillions, then of course leaving you the tab in the form of inflation, the most insidious tax of all. The cost of goods and services continues to rise, and during times like this, one of the best ways to protect your hard-earned cash is by investing in physical assets. In this case, precious metals, gold and silver. That's where American Hartford Gold comes into play, the highest rated gold company in America, with gold prices through the roof once again hitting an all-time high, currently at almost $2,200 an ounce. Now's the time to give them a call. With one phone call, they could deliver physical gold and silver straight to your doorstep, or they'll have it delivered directly into your 401k or IRA. And best of all, you could take advantage of the current promotion, where you could receive up to $5,000 of free silver on qualifying first orders. All you need to do is call 844-440-1005. Again, that's 844-440-1005. Or text HiveMind one word to 65532. That's 655. As usual, a huge thank you to American Hartford Gold, always protecting us from the insidious tax of inflation. All right, friends, so back in the day, you know, Elon Musk was pretty reserved politically. It was very rare to hear him speak on any controversial topic. He was too focused on building freaking rocket ships and saving the world. There was no real interest to get involved politically, but I guess the severity of the situation has clearly changed. Everything at this point seems to have changed. We're hitting peak woke clown world. And I guess at this point, Elon has realized that he can no longer sit idly by. And so Elon's decided it's time to go full wake up mode, full wake up the map mode take a look at this video that he just posted the democrat open borders plan to entrench single party rule explained in under two minutes one flood the country with untold millions of illegals by land sea and air from all over the world enough to eclipse the populations of 36 individual u.s states so far Two, prioritize the needs of these millions of non-citizens over the needs of the American citizen with free flights, buses, hotels, meals, and phones, ensuring their loyalty to the political party that imported them. Three, keep them in the country at all costs, even when they commit violent crime like murder and attack the language used to describe the criminals as opposed to the criminals themselves. Slander critics as racist. Four, ensure their privileges are made irrevocable with city and state sanctuary laws that act as population magnets. Codify permanent status and ensure non-cooperation with ICE. 5. Count the non-citizens in the census that will determine congressional apportionment in the House of Representatives. As of now, that would equal 13 extra congressional districts. A tremendous amount of electoral power. 6. Wage a massive, heavily funded lawfare campaign to change state voting laws that legalize mass mail-in ballots, no signature verification, and no proof of citizenship requirements, making it nearly impossible to prove voter fraud. 7. Lock in the permanent voting majority with campaign promises of lavish benefits and permanent privileges, enshrining generational fealty to the Democrat Party. 8. Win elections. 9. Entrenched single-party rule has been achieved. The best part? Your tax dollars are paying for it. And of course, what do you think the leftist reaction to that video was? It's a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy theory. Elon Musk, 
promotes dangerous conspiracy theory. Is it really, though? Or is it just an accurate description as to exactly what the Democrats have been doing? It's fake news, they say. Is it? Because I'm pretty sure everything listed in the video is exactly what Democrats are doing. Senator Bill Haggerty writes, Tonight, every single Democrat voted against my amendment that would stop the Biden administration from using taxpayer dollars to charter flights for hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens from countries directly into American towns to be resettled. Indefensible. In order to consider my very simple and reasonable amendment, it's vital that the Senate must move the Democrat leader's blocking amendment out of the way in order to move forward with my amendment. Let me cut through the procedural language here. I'm bringing forward a vote on a very simple question. Do you support American taxpayer dollars being used to fly illegal immigrants from countries like Venezuela and Haiti into America to be settled in cities and towns near you? If so, then vote against me. Vote no to preserve this practice of using taxpayer dollars to charter planes that move and import thousands of illegal aliens into your states. A bill meant to block taxpayer dollars from being spent on charter flights, flying illegal migrants directly into the nation, was just stopped from being codified into law by the Democrat Party. Here's Democrat Senator Murray arguing that illegal aliens shouldn't be required to have photo ID at airport security because it will create long lines at the border. By providing people with advanced travel authorization, it allows them to avoid human traffickers and drug cartels and other criminal organizations. Accepting this amendment will lead to more encounters at the border, pulling our agents from other work and responsibilities, like stopping drug cartels from getting fentanyl through our border. And it will create long lines at ports of entry as individuals travel to the border to apply for asylum. Here's another headline that reads, Obama judge's ruling on illegal immigrants' gun rights helps the left blur the lines of citizenship. After an Obama-appointed Illinois federal judge ruled the Second Amendment covers gun rights of particular illegal immigrants, Senate Intelligence Committee member Marco Rubio called it the latest development on the left that intends to muddle the difference between a citizen and non-citizen. Yeah, that's exactly what Democrats are trying to do. And they've made it quite clear. Not only have illegal immigrants and sanctuary cities become the top legislative priority, the top taxpayer priority, but local Democrats have been fighting for years at this point to include them in local elections. That's been happening. California City considers granting illegal immigrants the right to vote. Santa Ana could become the latest city in the country to allow non-citizens to vote at the ballot box. Non-citizens are prohibited from voting in federal elections. But municipalities in Maryland, Vermont, and here in California have allowed non-citizens to vote in local elections. Good evening. As you know, Santa Ana has been a sanctuary city for undocumented immigrants since 2016. But a new proposal could take things to the next level by allowing non-citizens the right to vote in local elections. Complete lawlessness. That's what the Democrats want. They don't care about the laws. They don't care about public safety. They don't care about negative economic impacts. They only care about one thing, using the census to game the system, using illegal migrants as vessels to expand their political power. That's the only logical explanation. There is no other logical explanation for their behavior, for their total disregard of national security and border security. There's no other way to explain it. Period. They know they're not asylum seekers, yet they keep the scam going. They know they can secure the border, yet they pretend as if they need Congress. You know, this just happened at the border the other day. After Thursday's surge, where one migrant faces assault charges, take a look at this. A group of 300 single adult men, mainly from Venezuela, trampled over a Texas National Guard soldier while rushing the border wall. After all this chaos, over 600 migrants were processed under Title VIII by Border Patrol, so many actually got into the country because of this surge. Here's Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez talking about that. And Kamala Harris's reaction to that was, only Congress can take care of the problem. As of right now, is that executive action on the border still on the table? Could we see that? That does not absolve the fact that the real fix is going to be when Congress acts. Mm -hmm. Still on the table, though. 
Uh, yeah, for consideration. Really? Because I'm pretty sure Donald Trump took care of the problem despite Congress. I'm pretty sure all we need is for you and Piss Pants Joe to stop promising the world to migrants to maybe stop enabling this border invasion through your actions in court. It's clear what they're doing and everybody with a head on their shoulders at this point. These are the people that Elon Musk frankly represent. Everyone with an IQ above room temperature at this point can tell what's really going on here. It's not about the people. It's not about the poor people crossing the border. It's certainly not about the American people. It's about one word, P-O-W-E-R, power. That is what's at the nucleus of this out-of-control crisis. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.